Ever since the advent of missile technology, warfare has become even more devastating. Ballistic and cruise missiles, over time, have become more sophisticated and lethal. Now with hypersonic speeds and precision, these weapons can obliterate any target in a matter of minutes. Which necessitated the development of a weapon system to counter such threats, and also to keep enemy air force at bay. Several countries have developed such missile defense systems, each with its own pros and cons. But today we will discuss the new Russian missile defense system S-500. The S-500 missile defense system was created by Al Mizanti. The corporation began designing it in 2009, with the intention of producing the first units in 2014. However, due to a number of delays, the S-500 was only able to enter service in 2021. The S-500 is a long-range surface-to-air missile system that, in addition to significantly enhancing the Russian air defense network's capabilities, has added another layer of defense. The S-500's situational awareness and lethality are greatly enhanced by its ability to network with older air defense systems, such as the S-400 and S-350. In terms of its performance, the S-500 is truly unmatched, it can detect and engage up to 10 ballistic hypersonic missiles at once, and has an operational range of 600 kilometers, which is three times that of the system's closest rivals, such as Thought and Patriot, both of which are limited to 200 kilometers of engagement range. Another distinctive feature of the S-500 is its ability to intercept maneuverable hypersonic missiles, traveling at speeds greater than Mach 10, whereas the older S-400 could only attack the targets traveling at Mach 8. No doubt that it is a highly capable all-around defense system, due to its extremely high situational awareness, 800 km aircraft detection range, and ability to intercept satellites and ICBMs. In contrast, the S-400 was designed to find and destroy certain stealth jets, like the F-22 and F-35. Despite not being specifically built to take on fighter aircraft, the S-500 can nonetheless eliminate targets that are fighter-sized, thanks to its very advanced sensors and pinpoint accuracy. S-500's main focus is primarily on engaging high-value targets, such as strategic bombers, ballistic missiles, hypersonic cruise missiles, and satellites. The S-400 and S-350 are more likely to focus on tactical aircraft. Networked with S-400s and other shorter-ranged systems, the S-500's robust and jam-proof sensors will significantly enhance older defense systems' situational awareness and enable them to engage stealth targets more effectively on their own. The S-500 can also destroy support aircrafts, including fuel tankers and airborne early warning aircrafts, which are critical for the effective operations of enemy stealth fighters. For fighter aircraft to operate at great distances, fuel tankers are essential because they enable fighters to cover wide regions without the need for external fuel tanks. As such refuelers are exposed to S-500 strikes within a 600 km radius, this can prove disastrous for the attacking air force and could potentially alter the face of modern air warfare. Fighter aircrafts may be forced to make emergency landings or crash if the tankers of an invading air force are shot down. Moreover, due to the S-500's ability to destroy satellites, the enemy's stealth fighters' navigation, communications, surveillance, and missile guidance systems would be severely compromised. Aside from allowing Russian air defense to significantly reduce the effectiveness of the opposing air force, any missile attack on Russian assets will also be rendered ineffective by the S-500. Consequently, it will play a crucial role in Russian air defense in the event of any future confrontation.